Hi everybody, it's Brendan here from Ujumla uh, once again uh, with a little video uh, for a, a pr problem that we came across earlier today. Um, so we just thought we'd like to share that with you guys and um, maybe save you some grief and aggravation along the way. Um, what we've got here is a fresh install of Joomla and uh, uh, it's just got the basic uh, protostar uh, template here fairly boring um, so we thought let's let's uh, make it look nice and uh, install a, a ten another template okay um, so uh, we, we, we got into our administrator um, uh, page and found the install section here and um, uh, choose our file okay and we were looking at uh, installing the uh, Malta template from Maris Joomla here on this site so uh, we went ahead and, and selected that template there and um, uh, uh, brought it up into this screen here now um, just uh, before I push the upload and install button um, just keep an eye on this bottom uh, left hand corner here because uh, it, it gives you some information um, there so um, just press the button and uh, we can see it starts to count up and um, we got um, it got to about 83 percent and then conked out <laughs> all right and we've also got a uh, uh, a little warning up here okay um, now what this is this is telling us here is that um, it says the post content length of uh, blah 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 bytes exceeds the limit of blah 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 bytes okay it says in unknown on line zero Okay, so um, don't pull your hair out. It's quite straightforward. Okay, the first thing we should do is to go to um, uh, the warnings uh, uh, on on the on the left hand menu here because that'll also hopefully give us a little bit more information. Okay, and um, to open that up, and sure enough, we've got some warnings. Remember, I said this was a fresh install of Joomla. Okay, so this is exactly the kind of thing that you guys are going to come across. All right, and we've got um, some some uh, uh, gobbledygook here. Okay, and it, it kind of um, uh, mimics the the warning that we had on the previous page. Okay, uh, here it says the value of the upload max file size in PHP and E is greater than the post max size variable. The post max size variable will take precedence and block requests larger than it. Now, this post max size variable, this was the, the second number in that previous page, okay, the, the smaller number. The the first number, the, the, the bigger number, um, was the, uh, I'm not sure if it'll still be there if we, if we go back to the install page, uh, probably not, it's probably gone, but that, that first, um, yeah, it's gone, that first big number um, was the file size of the template that we were trying to upload, which is about 10 megabytes, okay, um, and, uh, and that's the problem. Okay, now it's referencing PHP INI because that's the file that controls what we can and can't do with the server. Okay, now I'm running here, as you can see from the address bar on localhost on a WAMP server. Um, so I'm going to attack this problem in a slightly different way than you guys will have to if you're live uh, running through cPanel or something like that with a live site. Um, the file that you need to find is the PHP, the main PHP INI for the uh, for the site, okay? And it could be in different places depending on your host's configuration. But you should find in cPanel um, a way to adjust those these kind of settings, okay? It shouldn't be difficult from cPanel, okay? But um, what I'll do here in in this instance is I'll just open up. I've got the the file here uh, already in Notepad, okay? Um, what it's uh, what is important is if you guys are doing some development work on uh, WAMP or, or or some other similar server, is to know that there are two PHP ini files. Okay, and the one that you think would be the right one to play with, you would think, is in the PHP um, 
uh, we, you know, where PHP is, you know, in, in the in the file structure of WAMP. Okay, um, but it's not. Okay, what you need to find is the PHP ini that's located in the Apache folder. Okay, it's not lo it's in the bin of the Apache folder. Okay, this is the one that we need to adjust, and. If you're, um, you know, you're, you're looking down the file at, at, well, on my one here, it's got a line 662. It says post max size, okay, three megabytes. Well, there we go. That three megabytes is that smaller number that was on that first warning that we saw, okay. So all we need to do is to uh, change that to uh, something that you're comfortable with, okay. Um, 64 megabytes is, is probably plenty. Um, uh, so just change that, okay, and and go ahead and save the PHP ini file, okay. Um, it also mentioned that that one file was was different to uh, another file in the warnings from the from that menu. So if we scroll down a little bit past, there's a big chunk of green coming up here, um, and then if we just scroll down a little bit more, we can see a reference to that other uh, the other. Um, setting here okay upload upload max file size all right that is set at 64 meg okay um so keep them both the same all right that's that's the best thing really i think in in this instance uh, you can have them different you know but you have to kind of think you know what uh, uh what restrictions the website will have if if you you make one bigger or larger or smaller or uh, you know uh, maybe maybe you don't want people uploading large files. Maybe you don't want your members uploading videos or something like that. You know, yeah, documents is okay. So you know you have to do whatever's right for your website. Um, but for the purpose of this, we'll just set them the same. Okay, we saved that. Now, what's really important uh, again, and uh, something that many people, uh, myself included, many times forget to do, is to restart the, the server. <laughs> All right, because unless you do restart it, then um, your your saved changes in the file won't take effect. Okay, so we'll just um, just click on on that button there, and we can uh, well we'll restart all the services. Okay, uh, it'll take 30 seconds or so to to boot back up again, but that's okay. So let's go back to our page here and. Um, We'll try again, basically. Okay, so we'll we'll um, choose the file. Okay, we'll grab that template file there now, and uh, load it into the the interface here. Again, watch the bottom left hand corner. Okay, we'll we'll watch out for messages here. Okay, and then we'll go and we'll we'll check the warnings. Okay, um, actually we'll check the warnings first. Let's just check. Okay, we got a green light for the WAMP again, so that's rebooted. Let's. Um, Click on the warnings and see what's happened here first. Uh, there's no point in uploading the template. There we are. No warnings detected. All right. So that's got rid of that uh, that problem with the PHP there. Okay. So let's come back to install. And of course, the uh, proof is in the pudding um, as to whether or not this is going to work, isn't it? So let's just choose that file again and uh, uh, click on upload. Okay. So again. And we can see straight away that the the uploading is a lot smoother. It's, there's no pausing. It's just uh, it's going up there nice, and it's got up to 98, 99 percent. Okay, so that's basically has uploaded now because it's a, a larger file. Obviously, it won't install in just a few seconds. Um, it will take a bit longer, and because we are on localhost. Uh, It'll also be a bit slower because uh, localhost doesn't work anywhere near as quickly as uh, uh, cPanel would do on a live site. Um, it's uh, working in development mode here. Uh, we're always waiting, <laughs> and I always complain about it. Um, but <laughs> as you'll have noticed, if you uh, have seen any uh, any of the other videos that we've made uh, along the way, but uh, there we are. It'll it'll it'll. Um, come along nicely I'm sure uh, we'll be there in a moment got my fingers crossed got my toes crossed there we go something's happening and there good we've got a green uh, a green success message and we've got the splash page here uh, from the template that we were looking to install there we are uh, so that's just uh, just how to get over that little problem um, uh, there'll be uh, 
I'll put some notes in the description uh, below, um, you know, of the, the kind of error messages that you might get and, and you know, what this approach is, is suitable for. Um, uh, as with anything, if you're not really sure, um, then be careful because you could mess up your your server if you uh, change the wrong things in that PHP ini file because that that is what um, you know what controls everything. So be careful with that if you're not confident of what you're doing. Um, back it up first, make a copy so that you can always revert back to the original. All right. Well, uh, I hope this video has been um, helpful to somebody out there. Um, if it saves you pulling your hair out just one more time, then uh, uh, that's that's a bonus. All right. So thank you very much, guys. We'll catch you uh, catch you on the next one. So goodbye for now.